So in this video, I'm going to expand a Focusrite Scala 18i20 USB-C audio interface with a Motu 8 Pre Firewire device. By adding a Motu 8 Pre, you can expand your input count to 16 audio inputs. Uh, and I got mine off eBay for the princely sum of £87. So to my mind, that makes it one of the cheapest ways of adding a further 8 inputs. So um, I'm just going to walk you through some of the highlights of setting up the Motu 8 Pre just in case you're uh, in the market for buying one of these devices and I'll show you how it runs. So first off I'm just going to take the Motu 8 Pre out of my rack um, and show you around the back and show how I've got the optical cables connected. So on the left hand side here I've got the optical out. That's coming out of the 18i20, which you can tell when I show you because we've got a red light shining. So I'm going to just pop that back into the um, optical in. I'll also plug in the optical out, which is going back to the 18i20. The reason I'm only using the top two, optical in and optical out, is because I'm only intending to record at the moment at 48 kilohertz. If I wanted to record at the full 96 kilohertz, I'd need to use the bottom two in and out and have another two optical cables connecting the two devices. I've currently only got two audio inputs connected at the moment and that's just going to a reverb unit. So I've got an output going from the IT920 and that pair of inputs coming back into the APRE, just to prove it all works. So I'm going to move over to the computer now and set up the Focusrite control software. So in there I've got the digital I.O. set to SPDIF optical. By default it's RCA and you need to make sure you change that to optical. I've left the other options as they are. Um, I've got the clock source as internal and the sample rate as 48 kilohertz. I'm going to add some hardware inputs. I'm doing this for testing purposes just so I don't need to open up my DAW. And if I scroll down, I will get to the ADA options. And so in this box here, where I've got eight mono and four stereo inputs, I'm just going to select the various inputs and outputs. So you can either have stereo or mono. And then that's that set, nice and simple. And finally, at the eight pre, I'm just going to hold down the volume button, which also is the way you select the master clock. So I'm going to change this so it's the optical in 1x and that's because I'm recording at 48 kilohertz. If you had all four cables connected in then you change this to 2x. So there you have it, an additional eight inputs for the princely sum of 90 pounds including delivery. This is much cheaper than the Behringer option um, and also is more capable because you can record at 96 kilohertz whereas the Behringer ADA 8200 has a maximum sample rate of 48 kilohertz. When I first bought the Moto 8 Pre I wasn't 100% sure if it would work with the Scala 18i20 so I'm really really pleased that it has worked as, as well as it has done. It's been really quick, quick and easy to get up and running uh, and something I would strongly recommend as an upgrade if you're looking to expand from 8 inputs to 16. 